we are getting you findings of the News 18 opinion poll survey, a mega survey where we have spoken to 1,18,000 people across the country. Let's start with the Telangana. Let's talk about the vote share first for different parties. Let's put graphics up. 28% going to the NDA, 34% vote share for the India Alliance, 27% for the BRS, 3% for AIMIM and 8% for others. How does that translate into seats on the ground? Let's put up the seat numbers for Telangana. 8 for NDA, 6 for India Alliance, 2 for BRS and 1 for the AIMIM. Let's move on now to the state of Assam, a crucial state for Lok Sabha elections. 49% of the vote share going to the NDA, 35% to the India Alliance and 16% to other parties. Uh, let's look at uh, the seat numbers now. Let's pull that up for our viewers. 12 to the NDA, none to the India Alliance and two for others in the state of Assam. Let's uh, pull up Karnataka now, a crucial state where we're seeing a fight between the Congress at the state level and BJP at the center. 58% of the vote share could be grabbed by the NDA, 35% by the India Alliance and 7% by other parties and independents. So how does this really translate into seats? Well, it is three for the India Alliance, 25 for the NDA. Let's look at Rajasthan now, a crucial state for uh, the Lok Sabha elections. 61% of the vote share could go to the NDA, 33% to the India Alliance and 6% to other parties and independents. So how does this really translate into seats? 25 seats, it's a clean sweep for the NDA in the state of Rajasthan, none to the India Alliance and none to other parties and independents. Let's look at Uttarakhand now. 62% of the vote share going in favor of the NDA, 30% for the India Alliance and eight for other parties and independents. So how does this translate into seats? It's a clean sweep all the way for the NDA. Let's uh, go across to Chhattisgarh now, uh, another important state in the Hindi heartland. NDA could get a vote share of about 57%, 37% for the India Alliance and 6% for the Bahujan Samaj Party. In terms of seats, the NDA is almost getting a clean sweep here with 10 seats, one for the India Alliance and the BSP may not open its account in the state of Chhattisgarh. Let's look at Odisha now, where Biju Janta Dal, extremely strong on the ground as a regional player. 43% of the vote share could go to the NDA, 15% to the India Alliance, 40% vote share to the Biju Janta Dal. Let's uh, look at the seat numbers here. We're looking at eight seats for the Biju Janta Dal, none for the India Alliance, 13 for the NDA. Let's uh, look at uh, more states now. Andhra Pradesh now, 50% of the vote share going to the NDA, 6% to the India Alliance, 44% to the YSR Congress. So there will be a big fight on the ground between YSR and the NDA Alliance. So in terms of seats, seven seats could go to the YSR Congress, 18 to the NDA. So these are the numbers that we're getting. Let's also look at uh, Jharkhand very quickly. In terms of the vote share in Jharkhand, the NDA, getting 58% of the vote share, 32% for the India Alliance and 10% for others. This is the state where we had seen the arrest of Heman Surain a few uh, weeks back and this is a factor that will play out in the election. NDA expecting to get about 12 here, two for the India Alliance and none for other parties and independents. So that's a sum up of some of the key states in the Hindi heartland and southern India. Let's see what happens in the days to come. For more news and updates, all you need to do is follow CNBC TV 18 on all of our digital platforms.